plays it into the center. Jacobson dummies it through. Fox on the other end of it, fires up the middle, and it's knocked away. Here's a shot that's blocked away. Another shot fired in. Kelly able to get a foot on it, and it's finally played out of harm's way. And a nice combination play for Mike Stalker. Here he goes up the right side. He's in the clear. In on goal on the right. He fires across. No one's able to get to it. Now it's scored. Ryan Walsh puts Fordham on the board just over six minutes into the ball game. Play. Played forward. Kurdzik looking for Jacobson. And that ball was kicked back to Naples. He wasn't able to put a hand on it, and so it's played back up top. Here's a volley that's parried wide. Good save by Naples on the long shot from Lockenbrook. Bing. I thought that should have been a yellow card. This ball played long. And it's kicked in on the near post. Fordham leads 2-0. Beautiful delivery. Beautiful delivery there from Nat Bakoe. We're here with Ryan Walsh of the Fordham men's soccer team following the Rams. 2-0 win over Yale in their home opener here at Jack Coffee Field on Friday night. Ryan, you get the opening goal of the game on a really nice play on the break in that first half. Talk about the goal. Uh, Stalker took the ball down the line, took on a few guys, played a ball, perfect ball across, and no one was really covering me back post, and all I had to do was really tap it in. Uh, so far this season, five goals for this offense and three games coming from five different goal scores. What does that do for this team's confidence that you can get production from up and down the lineup? Uh, I think it just shows that anyone on our team could score and we have depth to our team and anyone coming on can bring a lot to the team and just join the attack and get some goals. Great. Thanks a lot, Ryan, and congrats on the win. Thank you. We're here with Ryan Capolo of the Fordham soccer team today. 2-0 win for the Rams in their home opener over Yale. Ryan, you pick up your first career goal there in the second half. Talk about the play and how, how it came to fruition. Absolutely. Well, we pick up a good free kick, and whenever you're in the danger zone, Natty always hits a good ball in. And when he does hit those balls, it's important during practice. The coach was saying that expect the ball to come, expect that people are going to miss it, and that's exactly what I did as soon as it came over. kind of just followed through with my right foot, and it landed right at my foot perfectly. So could be a little bit of luck, but I'd like to say it's skill right in the corner. And, there's no better way to score your first goal than at the home opener in front of a good crowd, so I love it. Three games in the season, five different goal scorers so far for the, the soft offense. What does it mean to get offense from different spots on the field and diff in different ways, set pieces and on the break like we saw in the first half? I mean, it's amazing. I mean, you have your forwards always contributing as much as they can. you got to give those guys a ton of credit because they're running around the field for 90 minutes and those guys, they have the biggest engines on the team. But when you can get other guys in there to support them, that's the biggest help you can give them. That's the best way for us, defense, midfield, to say thank you for all the work they do up top. So it's great so far. We had a little struggle scoring last year, so it's great to see this year. Last question for you. First team shutout this year in the first and three games for the team. What does that mean going forward? Today, Yale had a lot of set pieces, a lot of corner kick opportunities. What did it mean to pitch that shutout today? I mean, always for our defense, we went up to JMU in Virginia. And we had a lot of set pieces there too, and our motto is just got to grind it out. There's going to be a ton of set pieces. There's going to be a ton of corner kicks. Every time the ball goes up, it's an individual fight. You got to have that individual pride to say to yourself, "I'm I'm going to win the ball every time," and that's what we do. A very good job of fight for each other. So, thanks a lot, Ryan. Congrats on the win. No problem. Thank you so much.